Hey there, this is the second part of the Counter Strike 1.6 dedicated server tutorial. In the previous part, we learned how to download a Counter Strike server through Steam CMD from the Valve site. And here is a Steam CMD HLDS server which we have downloaded from the Valve site. And make sure you have created the backup of Steam CMD because if you do something stupid, you are gonna need it. And it's very important to create the backup. So in this tutorial, we are gonna customize or configure our server through using basic kavars. Kavars are console va console variables which are used to configure our server. So let's just get started. Uh, first, we will open the Steam CMD. Then we will go to HLDS, and then we will go to CS Strike folder. And in this folder, we have server.cfg. Server.cfg, CFG stands for a configuration file. And it has all the basic covers which we can use to, which we can edit and customize our server. So we are gonna need this server.cfg. To open the server.cfg, right click on it, go to open with and select notepad. Or if you don't having a note, if you don't have a notepad option over here, go to choose default program, and then choose notepad if it is appearing in the recommended programs, or if it is appearing in the other programs. Make sure you check always use a selected program to open this kind of file, because you are gonna need to open it again and again. So it. Here is our server.cfg file. These are all the covers sv underscore aim0, possible0. These lines are hashings. These are used to give information. Suppose sv underscore aim0. This line is disable auto aim. This line is give is used to give information on what about what this cover is going to do. So if we apply a double forward slash before any line it will be used as hashing and it won't be executed when this server.cfg file will be executed to our console only these lines which don't have the hashings are going to execute so we will not be using this file to configure rather i have created my own server.cfg file which you can find in the link description you need two files one is server.cfg and other is the auto execute.cfg we are going to copy these files into our cs strike folder we are going to copy and replace this original server.cfg file which came from downloading through steam cmd with a new one copy and replace and now we are gonna open a server.cfg and see all the covers and customize it to our needs. I will just make this. I will increase the font. Here it is. The first cover is host name. It says my server. This is will this will be the name given to your server. Suppose uh, if you want Counter Strike, Play Hard. Sorry, Counter Strike, Play Hard, Go Pro Server. You can set it to whatever name you want. So it doesn't matter. This will be the name which will be given to your server. Next is Archon password. I have set it to my underscore password. This password will be used to execute various admin commands, which I will show in the future tutorials, not in this one. Server covers. These are various server covers which we are going to customize. First is the MP underscore footsteps. It is used to toggle footsteps in our the sound of footsteps in our server one is used to specify if it is on 
and zero is used to specify if it is off. So I have set it to one, which means it is on. So we will be able to hear footsteps in a game. MP underscore auto team balance one toggles the forcing of lines to join team to make it balanced. So it will automatically make the teams balanced if there are unequal number of members in the teams. Next is MP underscore auto kick zero toggles automatic team killer banning and kicking off the clients. I will set it to one, which means it is on. So it will automatically ban and kick team killers and idle clients in my server. Next is MP underscore flashlight one toggles the use of flashlights by clients. I will set it to one. You can set it to zero if you want, but I will just set it to one for now. MP underscore T kill punish toggles the forcing of a player to sit out the next round if he has just killed a teammate. So I, if I have set it to one, a player will be forced to sit out in the next round if he has just killed a teammate in the previous round. Okay. So SV underscore all talk one. If SV underscore voice enable is on, then you can allow only team team discussion or allow everyone to talk with each other by enabling this. So I have set it to one. So everyone will be able to chat with everyone, which means if a team member speaks on the mic in the game, CT's member can also hear it. But if I set it to zero, only his team member will be able to hear what he will say. So I will just set it to one for now. Next is possible. This is a very important kavar and you must set it to zero. It allows the pausing of the server. If set to yes, clients can pause the server. Not recommended. So if it is set to one, clients will be able to pause the server by pressing the escape key. Which, which will be a very bad thing in your server. So I will just set it to zero and I will recommend it to set it to zero, not set it to one. SV underscore cheat zero toggles the allowing of cheats. If you set it to one, as I have said, one is for on, zero is for off. Players will be able to use cheats in the game. If I have set it to zero, players won't be able to use cheats in the game. SV underscore allow upload one. It will allow uploading of file from the server to the client. SV underscore allow download one. It will allow the download of files to the server from the client. So what is server and client you must be asking. Server is basically what you are creating and client is the players which are joining your server. Suppose you are joining your server to play the game. Then you are the client for the server. SV underscore max speed 320 sets the maximum client speed mo client movement speed. This is a default movement speed. You can set it to much lower, suppose 220, or set it to higher 420. But I will set it to default, and you can set it to whatever you want. But I will set it to 320. MP underscore limit teams two sets the maximum number of players that one team can have more than other team. Set it to zero to disable. MP underscore hostage penalty sets the number of hostages a player can kill before they are booted from the server. Set to zero to disable. So if I've set it to five, five is the number of hostages a player can kill before they are kicked from the server. Okay. SV underscore voice enable one. It will allow the usage of voice to chat to other players by pressing the K key, which is a default key to chat through voice. Of course, we are gonna need a microphone to chat through voice. MP underscore allows spectators one. It will allow players to join spectator team. MP underscore time limit zero sets the maximum amount of time in minutes between the map rotations. And to which map it will rotate, I will tell how to customize the rotation in my future tutorials, but not now. If I set it to zero, the map won't rotate after any amount of time. It will stay the same. MP underscore chat time sets the amount of time the server gives clients to talk crap at the end of the map before rotating. Done in seconds. So after a map is changed, 
it will give you 10 seconds in which player can chat whatever they want to talk crap at the end of the map before rotating. MP underscore friendly fire 0. It will allow teammates to have friendly fire over them. You can set it to 1 if you want, but I will set it to 0. MP underscore force camera 0. Camera movements when a player gets killed. 0 is for see everything, 1 is for see only team members, 2 is camera position stays with dead person. So I'm gonna set it to 0 for now. If I set it to 1, then players will be able to see only team members. If I set it to 2, camera position will stay with the dead person. So I will set it to 0 for now. MP underscore force chase cam 0 toggles the chase cam to follow teammates only. Useful for LAN games. MP underscore fade to black 0 fade the camera to black after that. So I will set it to 0 for now. If I set it to 1, the camera will be faded to black if whenever the player dies. So he won't be able to spectate anyone. SP underscore gravity 800 gravity of the server. Default is 800. If you reduce the gravity, suppose you put it to 10. Then you will be able to make very long jumps. If I set it to very high 10,000, then there will be very short jumps. So 800 is our default gravity in the game. So I will set it to the default value. SV underscore aim zero toggles the auto aim feature. SV underscore voice codec voice underscore speaks. Just keep it to default. Don't change it. SV underscore voice quality three. Quality of voice lowest is for one, maximum is equal to five. So 3 is for medium voice quality. If I set it to maximum, then it will have a very high bandwidth usage. So I have set it to a medium voice quality for now. These are round specific covers now. MP underscore freeze time sets the amount of freeze time in seconds at the beginning of each round to buy weapons and equipments set to zero to disable. So this is the freeze time. If I set it to 5, then players will be freezed for 5 seconds at the beginning of the game to buy equipments. They won't be able to move or shoot. So I will set it to 0 so there won't be any freeze time. MP underscore brown time 3 set the maximum amount of time for each round. The range is for 3 to 5, it is in minutes. MP underscore start money it is a starting money which you will get in the starting of the game. I will set it to 800. MP underscore C4 timer, it is the time in seconds after which the C4 will explode. MP underscore frag limit, set the frag limit before map change. So if I have my MP underscore time limit set it to suppose 40. So after 40 minutes, if a player doesn't have, suppose if any player doesn't have 10 frags in the game, the map won't be changed. So I will set it to 0 to disable this feature for now and I will set the time limit also to 0. MP underscore max round sets the maximum rounds before map change. MP underscore will limit sets the will limit of any team before map change. MP underscore player ID 0 when you point your crosshair on a player it shows you their team and name. 1 is equal to when you point your crosshair on a teammate, it shows you their name. 2 is for disabled. So I have set it to 0. MP underscore spawn protection time 5. So there will be 5 seconds after your spawn, after you will be given birth, in which no other player will be able to shoot or kill you. You will be given 5 seconds of protection. MP underscore buy time. 0.75 buy time in minutes. So 0.75 stands for 45 seconds. It will be the buy time, starting buy time in which a player can buy. After 45 seconds, he won't be able to buy anything from the buy menu. Well, I will stop here because I am running out of time. So I will continue the configuration and fire up the server for the first time in my next tutorial. Thank you.